A Night Light Into the Darkness by Matthew Wachter. After the ninth miscarriage, I resigned myself to the fact that my wife and I were never having children. I could see it on her face that last time. She was done. I was numb. Apparently, the human heart can only take so much anguish before it just starts to wall itself off. It starts off slowly. A cascading series of possible imagined futures slowly dim and out of existence. Well, maybe it's for the best. Climate change, income equality, creeping authoritarianism, division, chaos, maybe bringing a child into this world is too irresponsible right now anyway, right? We can focus on our careers, our passions. We will have disposable income. We can make a difference, right? Hello? We tell ourselves lies in the dark so that we can get out of bed the next day. As far back as I can remember, movies have been a haven, and some of my fondest memories are inextricably tied to the silver screen in one way or another. I'll never forget the first time my grandfather showed me his gigantic chrome and wood-grained Betamax cassette player that would allow us to watch movies at home whenever we wanted. Sorcery. My father and I, no matter how disappointed he may have been that I failed to find the passion to excel in organized sports the way he had, could always bond pun intended, over Timothy Dalton sledding down the Alps on a cello. When I was nine, my mom would let me stay up late to make Orville Redenbacher and watch the Oscars. Dangerous Liaisons won three that year. Don't worry, I hadn't seen it. And during my senior year of college, I saw David Lynch's Mulholland Drive with my roommates five times at the small cinema in Oxford, Ohio. What did the red lamp mean? What was in the blue box? The internet was still in its mewling infancy. I even showed my now wife, Donnie Darko, on what I think was our second date. And why she didn't run away from me screaming is still a mystery. But no matter what was happening in my life, I knew that with cinema, I would always have a portal to step into a different universe or get a candid glimpse into an important moment in our collective history. I first heard about the Nightlight Cinema in the Akron Beacon Journal in the spring of 2014. A small collective of cinephiles was opening a nonprofit art house cinema in our medium sized Midwestern former rubber capital of the world, Akron, Ohio. The Nightlight's mission statement said, quote, advancing cinema and community in tandem, unquote. I now had a purpose. The article said that they were seeking help for their, quote, opening gala. And I don't think I have ever committed to anything faster in my entire life than when I signed up to be a volunteer. A year later, I was on the board of trustees. Soon thereafter, became the board chair. And five years later, I am the executive director. Cinema had saved me. Working with the like-minded people running the nightlight was the most rewarding endeavor of my entire life for a time. It turns out that some old adages are true. Once you stop trying to have children, one often comes along when you least expect it. Cole Matthew Walker was born February 2nd, 2017. Everything had changed and everything is the same. It is true that our children offer us hope of a better future, but climate change is still real. Fascism is on the march. A pandemic is sweeping the earth. Black lives matter. Disinformation and propaganda are disseminated at the speed of light. The world seems like an impossibly dark place, but it is as important as ever to leave a little light on in the darkness. Movies can't save us, but they are a tool. So now I have a dual purpose. I use my small platform to offer hope and respite to a city desperately in need of both. I must also raise a young boy into a man with the tools and critical thinking skills required to tackle the challenges ahead of us. So now, when I lay in the dark, I worry that I brought my son into a grim period for humanity. But maybe, just maybe, he will be one of the light bringers. Maybe his generation can begin to undo the damage that we have done ourselves and to the planet. We tell ourselves stories. On the edge of an old industrial town sits a 46-seat art house cinema and a converted warehouse. The lights may be dimmed from a virus, but its purpose is still strong. Movies may be a, quote, dying art form, but in the right hands can still be a powerful voice for change. The nightlight is a place of inclu inclusivity, imagination, civic responsibility, and wonder. I cannot wait to take my son there to see a movie. Matthew Walker is the executive director of the Nightlight Cinema in his spare time and an attorney for a regional insurance company. He lives in Akron, Ohio with his amazing wife, Karen, 
his malevolent Rottweiler Lola, and his three-year-old miracle son Cole. Matthew is the son of my middle school language arts teacher, Bonnie Wachter. And if you enjoyed that inspirational story and would like to read some more, I recommend checking out the book, Beacons in the Darkness, Inspirational Stories from People I Know, available anywhere books are sold, the profits of which are dedicated to an animal rescue in western New York State. Thank you.